Hello, fabulous friends and fans. I am here with my dear friend for his second appearance on Nadia Shaw Productions, Samuel Reynolds. Hi, Samuel. Hey, Nadia. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So, I, you're like a huge astrologer. You're widely respected. So, tell us a little bit about some of your accomplishments. Uh, well... I started an event um, about seven years ago called the Zodiac Lounge, which is an affordable way to have different healers and seers come together so that people who want to get like a sample reading, either in astrology or tarot or acupuncture or Reiki, can get that at a reasonable rate and at the same time get some lectures and get some information. I'm proud of the writing. I've been writing for AOL, uh, tarot.com, and Ebony. Dot com this year so yeah so ebony really prestigious and widely read horoscopes i know a lot of people who love your horoscopes oh good that's good to hear <laughs> so how did you get started in astrology uh seeking to disprove it actually um mm. this is the net result of my failure uh, so i actually went to an astrologer on a lark um at a friend's recommendation and uh, i was blown away he uh, actually nailed some things about my family history and about me that I really hadn't shared with anybody. So I was like, what's your magic? What's your trick? And it wasn't literally magic. So I know you as a person on an amazing spiritual journey. Right. And as you've gone through all these different reinventions. Right. Um, what do you think it is within you that is so open to all these, like the willingness to be honest with yourself about what changes you need to make? Um, that's an interesting question. I would say that if we had to relate it to astrology as a signature, I think it is my scorpionic need to be relentlessly honest with myself about my commitment toward being the best person that I can be. So I'm always asking myself, am I going to play at this or am I going to really make it happen? So whether it's astrology or whether it's Islam or whatever, it's like, am I going to be committed? And I think, you know, every day I'm evaluating, well, how was it with this? Like, I didn't do all my prayers today, so I feel that. And so it's like, okay, how can I make it better? Or am I going to let this go? Do I need to let this go? So. What is great about writing for Ebony Magazine? That is so cool. Um, what, what's great about it is getting to meet people I normally wouldn't meet. Um, clientele who I wouldn't normally be exposed to and one thing that's been really really good is that rather than just relying on the stock and trade people who are interested in astrology I have to make sure that I'm writing an astrology that appeals to a greater swath of people who may not know anything about astrology may have reservations about astrology like I did but not just as a skeptic but also from a biblical point of view or Islamic point of view so you have to make an allowance for that so that's been very challenging and rewarding at the same time. Thank you so much, Thank Samuel. You. Yeah, you're awesome. Oh, can you say that again? On the yeah, well, she's awesome. <laughs> Let me say it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, Samuel, you're so awesome. I've known you for a, at least a year now. Yeah. And also... More. Is that, hasn't it been two years? No, it's only been a year. Wow, it just seems like... I've known you for almost ever, so that's cool. Yeah, it does feel like that, and it is very cool. Yeah, I love it. You. Thank you for being a part of my Astro fam. Boom. And this is your second appearance on my show. You always have a standing invitation. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to come on. Yeah, again. And thank you so much for being here to celebrate Samuel Reynolds with me. Until we connect again, take care. Thank you. Astrology's biggest stars are right here. Nadia Shaw Productions, new episodes every Thursday.